Monroe's mother had always been much better at starting things than finishing them. When she died, she left behind over 300 canvases, not one of them finished, along with Monroe, who felt pretty unfinished himself. The orphanage allowed him to keep only one painting, and so he chose the unfinished swan that had always been his mother's favorite. But that night, he woke up to find the swan had disappeared. So he took his mother's silver paintbrush and followed the footprints into a little door he hadn't seen before. That is much closer than that surface. So, look what happens. Oh my. I truly love this game. The first time I ever played it, was in the waiting room of the dentist's office when Carlos was having some teeth pulled. And I can hear my voice coming from the other room and I need to turn that shite down. <laughs> No, because I have, you know, my computer is in the other room and I have, I'm hearing my own voice from the other room, it was weird. But look at this, see how this 3D environment just comes out of nowhere. Oh, I started over here. And that's where I need to go. Anyway, and I was playing this on the PlayStation Vita handheld and it's it's so amazing here but it's really miraculous on the Vita <clears throat> because you have this little thing in your hands and suddenly out of nowhere emerges this world. Oh. And of course, what else is great is that you don't have to, you don't have to paint everything all the way over to sort of get an idea of what's going on. What astounds me is that there is a, there, is that a nice bench. There is a trophy, There's some trees. There is a trophy for only throwing three ink balls or whatever. Like to play this whole game by only doing one, two, three of those. I don't know how you could do it. And quite frankly, I don't understand how that would be so much fun. I mean, you know, it just, you know, I just don't know. Because a lot of the fun of this game for me is that exact thing. Discovering the environment around you. It's just wonderful. And it's also kind of relaxing.
Oh my. Look at that. Oh. Oh. We got footprints. We need to find the unfinished swan. And this ink never runs out, by the way. Of course. Go fishing. Oh, darn. Thankfully, all that, all that is gold continues to stick out. <laughs> it's a frog. Scared. It's not gonna get you. It's just there to add a little tension. It's very adorable. I need to go over here. Ah. <sighs> and you don't have to like jump and break out. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And we come upon a duck! What's this environment like? Well, look at it. Kind of like, well, where, where am I? Look at that. Look at how this 3D environment just appears out of nowhere. I've played this game before. I don't believe that I ever actually finished it, but I 
actually, I did finish it. No, 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 no. Yeah, I did. But there are so many different things that you can find and so many things that you can miss as you're playing, obviously, because of the very nature of the game. Every, every time I, I toss uh, another ink ball, I'm amazed at what I discover. What's that, I wonder? Hmm, I think I know what it is. Something over there. And there's something in the way. Aha! Aha! I would also like to point out how very different this game is when you compare it to Life is Strange. And they're both incredible works of, of art for game, for, for, for game design and I feel like chicken to die. It's a window there. A big one, apparently. Yep. Okay. Now, is there any reason that I can't just jump down here? Uh -uh. Well, maybe I don't have to. No. I can just go that this way. And there we are. It's nice. And thank you. Um. Chicken. 
chicken butt. Chicken hand! What? Chicken butt. Where's chicken hand? Which? Chicken... Chicken twitch. No, it's not really working out. Oh, Carlos knows more about that than I do. He has better answers to everything than I have. Oh my. Oh my. See, I thought this was down here. On a level with everything else that was around it, but... I have discovered that I was incorrect. Now, there's a level after this, which is a little less black and white, <laughs> I say. Uh-huh. Oink. Oink. Uh, yeah, it's a little less black and white. Moly, I was like, da, 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 da. oh, I'm right in front of something. It's a little like being blind and then getting your sight back just a little bit at a time. Pegasus Unicorn. Alright then. Oh. Oh my. Hmm. Yay, balloon! And by the way, um, I always try and choose the color for the banner at the bottom of the stream on the window. Like, this one is gray. Uh, I actually do that on purpose. <laughs> I bet most people who stream on Twitch also do that on purpose, but I'm just saying I actually do that on purpose. Uh, if, if you watch the, um, or just even take a look at, you don't have to watch the whole streams, but if you uh, take a look at the Life is Strange streams that I did... for the first half of today, you'll notice that they get, they start out light blue and get increasingly redder until actually the banner on the last one is red. It's just completely red. I made this gray because I thought that it would work better with this game. And I believe that I am correct. Because... Well, you know, I'm me. And I'm kind of right sometimes. Not all the time. That's why I'm, that's why I'm married to Carlos. <laughs> he is totally right 100% of the time. So when anything is... Oh, look at this. Nice. I don't remember this from before. I think I just dis discovered a thing here. Wow, that's interesting. Huh. 
Anyway, totally, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> no, I never discovered this little secret place here before. And, yes, Carlos is always right. <laughs> always. That's why marriage works. You gotta marry somebody who... You know. Now, let me step off here. I'm hearing wind. Yeah, oh, Mary's. Oh! oh, crap. Well, no, that's dunk. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. There was a part that I wanted to get to back there that, like, explain the story, but darn it, I missed it. Poo poo caca. Titty caca. Poo. Anyway, marry up. Like I did. Don't marry somebody who's exactly like you. Marry somebody who's similar to you, but smarter. Definitely don't marry somebody who's as stupid as you are. You shouldn't even date somebody who's as stupid as you are. Just don't let them know how stupid you are. <laughs> Do what I did. Keep them in the dark for 15 years. And then be like... Surprise! I'm a moron! Okay. Hmm. Well, that's what the X button is for. Jumping. So the secret to a good marriage is keeping your stupidity under wraps. Of course, if you're actually stupid, probably won't be able to do that. So it's a bit of a conundrum. I see you walked up there. So clearly I splat... Wait, hold on a second. It's a little confusing. How did I splash in this room? Wait a minute. Tonight. Um. Um. Oh. I feel like I'm in a time loop. I am. Watch in that room... Watch through that little doorway over there. And you'll see... You see that? Now that's some tricky stuff going on there. Because you are walking out of this room and back directly into this room. <laughs> Good luck for that. <laughs> oh, these puzzle games. They are brilliant sometimes. Okay. Uh, oh! And the same can be said here. Oh. Huh? Eh. Okay. Now that I know that I'm in a quantum loop, Perhaps I'll just go down this way. And then just hold on a second now. Gosh darn it. I 
did that on purpose. that doorway that is over here, right, I should be able to Same level I'm on. <laughs> this is like Twilight Zone. Ah! I keep hitting the button too late. Okay. Okay. kind of an idiot am I? Was I actually in the same place the whole time? No, I was not. Thank goodness. Ooh. Now, there we have some actual shadowing that's already in the environment. And that takes a little bit of the stress off. Also, I hear wind. The king's new subjects were tired of white. They were tired of tripping, of banging their shins, of misplacing their homes. So they started painting everything, ruining the king's spotless design. In response, the king outlawed all non-magical brushes and pledged to spend the next month painting shadows for his kingdom. Well, that's nice of ya. Hmm. Tired of white. Tired of tripping and banging their shins and displacing their homes. So they started painting everything, ruining the king's spotless design. In response, the king outlawed all non-magical brushes and pledged to spend the next month painting shadows for his kingdom. Hmm. Sounds like, uh, President Jimmy Carter. He would have painted the whole thing, but Congress wouldn't have allowed it. I don't know, I'm just... <laughs> just being silly. Alright then. I mean... Ooh, speckle. Look at that, blue. It's blue. Oh my. It's an aquarium. Hmm. Shadows. Oh, oh my. That's a big old thing.
Then first in castle, yeah. And the road leads to nowhere. Theme song from Last House on the Left. The original one. So that doesn't really... Yes, I know there's something down there. I gotta go the other way first. Because that's how I do it. Ooh. 32 minutes in, and I'm in a room with the closed door. And, uh, stuff. It looked better before I did that to it. Ah, hippopotamus king or queen. Hmm. No, that's not good. I hear you, Swan. Hmm. I agree with you, son. Hmm. Whoa. I know. Yay! I'm trying to get a better look. But I can't actually stand on it. Poop. Picture of him painting a picture of him painting a picture of him painting it. I get it. Hmm. Very interesting. And see now how the the gray banner at the bottom of the screen works with the game. Oh my. Gosh darn it. Anyway. It's remarkable that I played this before and actually made it all the way to the center of this. It's true. It happened. Alright then. Oh. If I go up that, I just have to come down the other side and the same, be in the same place. Yeah, I'm 
pretty much just going down the stairs there. So now I only have to get the, to the center of the maze. Oh, thank goodness. There are clues. And story elements. The labyrinth was designed to be beautiful, and it was. It was not designed to be practical, and it wasn't. Whole families got <laughs> lost for weeks at a time, mail took months to arrive, and many worried a labyrinth of this size was bound to attract dragons. Eventually, the complaints grew so loud, even the king couldn't ignore them. Yes. Apparently, dragons are attracted by enormous labyrinths. I love that periscope there. <laughs> Oh, it's so funny. Uh, okay. For a second there, I thought that was something else, and that would have been completely inappropriate. sections of the game this made things a bit more apparent. Hey! Balloon! You tricky bugger. Sometimes well I was just about to say that it, it doesn't help it but clearly um Still does. Hmm. Oh my. Oh my. Oh. Well, what in the world happened here? See, like that, it obscured that. Now I can't, you can't see those parts anymore. Which is fine, but. See? Oh, okay. It's a little odd. Whoa. Whoa. I know, kid. Whoa. Oh, shush. I don't even care about you anymore. I just came from there. That's kind of useless. For the first time in weeks, Monroe felt good. He felt even better when the wind pushed him close enough to reach the swan. He was feeling so good, in fact, that he forgot all about his fear of heights. But when the swan wriggled free and Monroe fell over the side, he remembered almost immediately. Almost immediately. That might have been the end of Monroe, if this were a shorter story. But it isn't, <laughs> which is why Monroe's troubles were just beginning. <laughs> oh, that's awesome.
awesome. Ugh. Why are you mean? Zero out of four. Oh, one out of three and two out of four at the first castle and zero out of two for the watchtower. Well, gravity, gravity. I guess that's gravity. <laughs> okay, I've gone about I've gone 42 minutes at this point. I'm not going to finish this. I'm going to move on to something else. I'm going to hip scop and hip scop, hop, skip, and jump around between games. Um for the rest of the marathon this evening until I get to 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. But I did want to give people a flavor of what this game is like. Um, it's completely family friendly. And uh, it's charming beyond charm. It really is delightful. Absolutely delightful. Um, and it's available, I think, on all PlayStation systems, PlayStation 3, 4, and Vita, and it, it also might be on Xbox One and X, Xbox 360, I don't know, um, and I might not even be correct that it's on Xbox at all. It might be on Wii U, I don't know, look it up, Google is your friend, but uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this <laughs> sort of commercial, quote unquote, uh, that I just played for you for this game because it is really, really great. And uh, now I'm going to move on to something else. Happy Extra Life 2015, everybody. Make the money for the kids.